Let's do this. Huh? All right, in regard to mixing the paints, I'm mixing everything in a two to one ratio, the one being paint and the two being flow troll. Here we go. I'm using what they call the Southwest color palette. I pulled up a color swatch from the internet and I matched the paints the best I could. Let's mix the paints. I'm going to be using black as my base color, and I know I'm going to need a lot of it. So I'm going to use two of these and mix that with my flow troll. Okay, I'll get my colors lined up here. I'm going to be doing a kiss cup technique. I'm going to layer the colors in two cups, and then I'll touch the cups together and pour across the top of the skull with the layered paints. But first, let's kind of look at what we're dealing with here. We've got all kinds of nooks and crannies going on, and who knows what all. And that's why I made so much black. I'm going to go over the whole bottom first with the black because I know full well that if I just pour from the top down, it's not going to cover all the cracks and the, and the little nooks in there. So I'm going to do the best I can to cover the bottom with black first. And then we'll go back and maybe tip it up for the, for the top. We'll just try to hit all the nooks and crannies in the surface of the skull. Here we go. And I think I'm gonna use my fingers to uh, try to hit some spots that I could not reach before. But I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit more of this to get some of the areas that I can still hit. Okay, so I'm just going to dab some of this off my table and hit these areas that are tough to reach.
Yeah, there were some super tough to reach areas in here. Probably not gonna get it all, but I'm gonna do the best I can with what I got. All right, so I'm gonna to begin to layer the colors for the kiss cup technique. I'm gonna do it in equal amounts in both cups. Alrighty, so we are ready for our kiss cup technique, and here we go. Gravity can either be your friend or it can be your enemy in these kinds of things. Either way, we're going to be stuck with what we've got and hope that it comes out. I think I will use some black. I kind of want the eyes to have a little bit of a contrast to them from the rest of it. So I'm thinking I might try to pour a little bit of black just around the eye sockets. Ah, shoot, we don't even need a straw. All right, now we're gonna to need to get this off the surface of the table so that the paint doesn't dry to it. And I believe the way I'm gonna do that is to create a space over here with a couple of the bigger cups. And I believe I'm going to lift it onto the cups. All right. That way there's minimal surface that's sticking to the actual skull itself and, and taking a chance on messing up the paint. And there we have it. Alrighty, so here's what we've got. I like how that black looks on there. Pretty nifty. All right, I like it. All right, that was quite fun. If you like what you see here, hit that like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye.